Here we go. We are back at it again with the High Elves of Mithlond and Imladris. Uh, in the previous episode, Ered Lewin made their intentions quite clear. They are no elf friends. Absolutely not. They are going to attack my lands soon. They are now at war with me. And we're gonna have a difficult time to deal with the nations in the western side here. No doubt. Angmar's forces are roaming into our lands here. We are still not at war with them. We're neutral with them. But uh, if you look at these armies' movements, it's quite clear their intentions, what they want to do with my nation. They want to take these lands. So we have a pretty big problem at the moment. A lot of enemies that we need to take care of. And we're also attacked by Captain Lagduf and Azrun outside of Ostinethil. This is exactly what we wanted, honestly. Because if we win this battle here, against these pretty pathetic units, honestly, we should be able to take a region back and unlock the great things that comes with taking a region back. So, Captain Airadan, it's time for you to show your quality for the High Elven Nation and the High Elven Lords. Kirdan and Elrond is watching over your mission here. Let's make that clear. Let's move in and let's take these disgusting goblins down. Send them back to okay, the most dangerous unit on this battle map is the Goblin Spears. We're gonna try and harass them down with our horse archer uh, before we charge them. Let's take a look. Goblin Band, that's the unit we want to try and bring down with horse archers. Um, the rest of these guys we could probably just charge down. Their captain is in this unit, Goblin Infantry, not a scary unit. Uh, you can already try and move to this side of this army. If you can get a charge off against the Goblin Infantry straight at their captain, we should be able to kill him straight away. Weaken the Goblin Band for me, please. Take the, both of these off. Uh, for some reason... It feels like I cannot control where the horse archers are firing, if you have this on. Yeah. Are they firing at these guys? No, they're switched to the goblin band, that's good. Good, good, good. Yeah, Snagger stalkers are moving in. Cavalry, you can move closer. Kite back a tiny bit, you can keep that on now, while you kite. Let's see if we can go for a cheeky little charge here on the goblin infantry from the side and maybe assassinate the captain straight away. Stop firing because we're gonna kill. Let's uh, see, we're coming in quite good here, I think. Yeah, we've killed him. Well done. Get the hell out of there quickly, though. The captain has been killed. This is gonna make these guys break far easier now. Moving for the goblin band again. Let's keep on harassing them. Let's take a look. Um, we have some Snaga Stalkers and some goblin bodyguards. The goblin bodyguards, I'm gonna try and swamp with the cavalry later. If we get stuck in prolonged combat with those guys, they can do a bit of damage to me. They have decent stats, um, so we need to be a little bit careful about those guys. Goblin Infantry is trying to chase us here. They shouldn't be able to. We can move to the other side now. Keep firing at will now. You can fire at whatever, but ideally on the Goblin Band is the unit I want you to fire on. Just form up over here. If, you don't, if they don't want to engage us, we're not going to fight them. Just uh, fire as much as you can on them. There we go. We're doing well against these goblin bands here. Fast forward. Our ammunition is not going to um, be enough. Uh, we're soon going to run dry. Uh, we're almost out of ammunition here. But the goblin band should be killed with a few charges. Uh, one charge should be enough to make them break. Only half the enemy force remains. And there we go. Let's go for some charges. Let's begin with the Goblin Band and the Goblin Infantry. Let's see if it's going to be enough here to break them. They're shaken already. Surely yeah, they're broken. These guys are not yet broken. They're broken. Good. Get out. They're charging in with their Snaga Stalkers. Let's see if we can charge them from the other side and destroy them as well. Move out. Okay, good job there. Let's go for the Snaga Stalkers with you. Uh, not group up and let's just there we go just charge now 
this should be enough, I think. Yeah, that was a great charge. They're wavering, they're gonna break. There we go. Well done. Amanya Riders, you can chase because you have not yet reached the Golan Chevrons, so you can chase if you want to. The rest of the army is gonna prepare for these guys that are coming for us. That's enough. Well done. Uh, maybe we should try and do a charge on the Starkers before we go for the General straight away here. The General is quite a bit far away from the, the rest of their army with the Snagger Starkers. Let's just surround them and let's see if we can destroy them in one huge charge here. That is the plan. Okay, all of you three, go for them straight away. This should hurt them quite a lot, these Starkers. I'm expecting... That should be quite the good one. And here comes the Dundai Scouts and here comes the Amania Riders. We might not break them because we're not killing the general here. The enemy are badly yep. bloodied. Not broken. Have lost half their men. But as soon as we've killed the general, they're gonna break straight away. Snaga Stalkers are no longer a factor of this battle. They're almost utterly defeated. We need to kill the Goblin Bodyguard though and make sure that he gets killed. So that we can have victory. He needs to die. Let's do the same thing. But this time on the Goblin Bodyguard instead. You can go for the Stalkers if you... No, actually not. We do not want to waste time with that. You need to run as well. Hopefully we can do a bit of damage against their general here. Okay, get the hell out of that quickly. Leave room for these guys. I'm not sure that we even charged there. I don't think we did. Let's see if you can go from this side. We're losing a bunch of guys here. Which is not ideal. Let's form up again and do it the same thing. Yeah, we didn't kill too many at all here. Try and surround them again and charge them from different areas. Uh, we're not doing too much damage to them here. Keep doing what you're doing though. We need to try and surround them like we're doing. But we're not doing too well against them. 65. We didn't, we're didn't. we not killing too much here. We're losing a lot of horses here. And we're not getting the result that we want. At this moment. Try and catch them again, please. And when they turn for this unit, we're going to charge him with the Amanda Rangers. Just wait for these guys to reach them. And I think you should be able to turn now and charge them. There we go, they've switched. I'm focusing my scouts now. Let's pull out. Come on, form up, guys. Okay, we kill a bunch of them. Not too many, though. Pull out. These guys are on the way. Oh, we're losing a lot of guys here. These guys are tough, the Goblin Bodyguards. Come on, do the charge quickly. There we go, that was a finally a good charge. Took a while. Not you. Get the hell out of there, guys. Quickly. 34 remaining. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. You can charge the Snaga Stalkers if you want to. Let's do it again on the Goblin Bodyguards from two sides. Okay, you're moving in. Let's wait for them. And you're not going to run just yet. Wait for these guys to get closer. You're charging into these guys, that's good. And you're gonna charge now. Let's get these guys out of there. Let's see if this is gonna be enough. We're coming in at the same time here, I think. Let's see if this is gonna be great. Yeah, we did get some kills there, I think. Not too many, once again. We need to pull out. Remember, we have a lot of horse archers and they're not that great in charges. 12 remaining. Okay, we're getting there, but we're losing a lot of horses in the process here. We absolutely are. And that is quite scary. Those guys are broken. You feel free to chase them down and kill them utterly. Go back and let's go for a charge again. Hopefully this time we might kill their bloody general here. Come on, guys. There we go. Oh, he's not yet dead. These guys are coming in. Please kill him. There we go. He's killed. This should be game over. There we go. Quite the close one, honestly. 58 losses. Uh, we did win, but uh, we did take a bunch of losses in the process here. 
Um, I mind your rangers got the most kills. Um, we're not going to be too strong now at Eregion after this victory. We only have these horses here. And if Dunland were to attack us, we're going to have quite a lot of issues. But Eregion is ours at least, so that is good. Well done there. Well done there. Execute them all. Austin Adil is ours. The question now, do we sack it? I think we need to. I think we need to sack it. Uh, we're just going to massacre 167 people. So we are going to sack it and hope that we can keep the peace. Which we can. It's green. That's good. That's really good. And Angmar is attacking under towers. They are. Uh, we have the militia garrison here. So hopefully we can hold them at bay. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, they have wargs, pikes and thralls. The skirmishers shouldn't be too problematic. Um, the thralls no problem at all either. The pikemen though uh, could be problematic. We need to try and surround them if we can. But uh, yeah, Angmar has declared war to us again. We're no longer neutral to them. The war with Angmar has started. We need to grab Ostgelon as quickly as possible and give it away to the northern Dunedain or Bree in order to only fight one enemy here in the west. Because if we fight Edith Lewin and Angmar here, it's gonna be problematic. So, well, let's move in and let's take this army down. We need to probably send some archers or something over to Undertowers because this army, if they attack us, we might have issues. But for now, let's move in and let's take these guys down. Scatter them. I don't like that they have uh, wargs with javelins because then they might throw it at my spears. And the best thing here would, of course, you to be to use the spears against the wargs. Um, we should just maybe block one opening here with these guys here. Let's just start the battle and we can form up after. And maybe try and flank with these guys. One can block this entrance. And we're going to try and flank with one more, one other unit. Is the, are these the skirmishers? Oh, they're archers. And these are skirmishers. That is not nice, actually. That is really not that nice. You're going to have to move over there. Uh, try and run over there. Uh, long spears, you're going to wait. We want to try and catch these guys in melee, if we can, to stop them from firing at us. They can do a lot of damage to us. They're moving in. Try and catch them. You're going to do the same. Try and catch them there. If you can. You're catching those guys. That's really good. And you should be able to catch these guys as well. It doesn't look like they want to withdraw here. Just go in. Catch them. You, they're still throwing their things at us. That is not that nice. Lindon Long's base. You're going to have to form up over here. And block. Because they're sending in the majority of their army here. So form up over there. And hold the lines. It's going for you. I think you're winning. You're losing a few elven defenders here, but you're dealing with them. As long as they're not firing on us, I'm happy. Should we move a little bit closer here, maybe? Just to support with the wargs. I think we should go closer. And as soon as these guys have destroyed these wargs, we should try and flank around with these guys here. Remember, the elven defenders will respawn. The pikes will not. So we want to try and keep them alive. We need to get something more uh, to under towers in order for us Our to keep this safe. We we'll kill the general there, that's good. Him, his troops will Might see some breaking soon. These guys are shaken. We take some shots. The javelins are firing at my space here. Yeah, that's not nice. Go even f more forwards, please. Stand over there. They're firing at me, even though we have them locked in combat. Surely these war riders should break soon. They're wavering. A few more seconds and they should be gone. We need to get these walks to break so that we can move out with these guys and surround. There we go, they're broken. Run over to this side. Looks like they just want to push here. Where's my captain? He is not in the thick of it yet. Elves, run. You need to run into position and charge these guys in the back quickly. Fast forward. One thing we absolutely do not want to do is to lose this settlement. And these bloody war skirmishers are doing a lot of damage to me here at the moment. 
They're throwing the things at us. It's not nice at all. How are my Lindon long space doing? Not too well. Try and catch these guys. We need to get rid of these bloody skirmishers. We've lost yeah, they're cutting a big hole here. In my Lindon long spears. That is not good. The captain has died. I was looking for you. You need to kill these bloody wargs. 41, we're losing at the moment. My pikes are getting destroyed by their ruder pikemen. Absolutely shredded. Let's take a look at the stats and compare. 5-9, 4-7. My guys should win here. Actually, quite surprised that my guys are getting so beaten here. But they're holding for now. These guys are wavering. We need to get rid of them quickly. Uh, so that we can support against the thralls here. Quickly. Come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. Kill them faster. They're wavering. Come on, guys. This is actually really close. This is really close. The thralls are moving away. How is it looking here? The enemy are badly bloody. It's a close fight here they with the Ruder Pikemen. The thralls are moving up. They are shaken. Walk skirmishers. Come on, get rid of them. They only have five remaining. If we continue like Four this, now. We Come on. Smash this enemy. is really close. There we go. One more killed. These guys are wavering. We have far superior stats to these guys. We just need to get rid of the thralls and the wargs and then we can charge these guys in the back and have a victory. Oh, my Lindon long spears. Almost waver there for a second it looked like. This walk skirmishers refuses to break. Um, just fight the thralls then. Oh, this is so close. This is too close. 64, we are winning here. Barely. Uh, we're winning, it's a close fight, uh, but we're winning. I think. Thralls, the fee, oh lord, this is so close. Let's compare the stats of the defenders. 9, 16 and 3, 6. Yeah, we really outclassed them. Come on, guys. It's really close here, the pike fight is really close. Come on, guys. My captain has died, which is not... These guys are shaken, that's a good sign. We need to reinforce under towers with some more forces, otherwise we're going to have a lot of problems. I think we're going to win. Let's fast forward. I think we are going to win. Wait, see, it's really close. It's really too close here. The battle is very 32 much against favor. 44. Will be ours. Yeah, they're wavering. Just get rid of them. We need them to break and just move in for the thralls. My elven defenders are destroying the thralls though, so that is nice. There we go, they're broken. Moving for the thralls, and this should be a victory. Quite the close one, though. There we go. Try and give chase, if you can catch them. Uh, we want to kill them all. 94%, though, that is enough. Let's exit the battle. Oh, this lord. That was a close one. It really was. We need to send something else over here. Uh, two units of archers or something, and I don't know. Something decent is needed here, and walls would be so nice here. This is an open village, and that makes it everything a lot harder to defend. But we have victory for this time. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to hold here for too much longer, though. Um, let's see how things are developing on the campaign map. A close one. That was a close one. Let's execute them. There we go. There are other armies moving away. Are they sending even more armies? It looks like they are. I think they are. We need to take a look at that and see how large that army is because we cannot see it. But it looks like they have an army over there as well. Angmar's might. <laughs> that is something we do not want to hear. Absolutely not. But uh, they're powerful. High elves reclaim Region. Yeah, we have finally done it. Since the days of the War of the Elves and Sauron, the lands of Region and its capital city, Ostineville, have been left abandoned. Since its spoiling life has returned to the surrounding lands, trees regrow and the surrounding nations prosper. The High Elven High Lords has finally decided to retake the ruins of the city to protect it against orcs and men. Its reclamation was a success, and elves once more control its lands. 
new mission, Realm of Lothlorien, you will be rewarded with a military unit. Okay, um, not what we want, yes. but Tomorrow's take it. Remnants of Angmar and High Elves are at war. Nothing new there. Can we go for low here? Yep, we can. Let's go for Artist Studio. Spy. Let's move down. I'm not too keen on the fact that we're bordering Dunland now. Who are they at war with? Dunland. Are they at war with anyone? Bree, Rohan and Goblins. They're not at war with Ened Wythe. That is a nation that I really want them to be at war with because then they're going to be occupied with Ened Wythe. This is not good. Uh, we need to do something about that as well. Maybe try and lure them over to declaring war to Ened Wythe or something. Okay. Anon and Orod. What should we go for here? We can get the Noldor Guard Hall here. That is really nice. We can finally get the Noldor Guard Hall in look we can get it here as well that is really really nice uh, we are going to need it absolutely so really nice that we got Hill. we should rename it as well to a region there we go looks a lot more beautiful uh, we need to garrison this location up a bit as well but first we need to take this army down uh, I want this major production center from the goblins to be destroyed. We need it to be destroyed. Uh, absolutely. What should we get here? The roads, how much would that bring in? Uh, quite a lot. Not yet sure. Maybe we should go for this one first, though. I think we are. Let's go for that. Okay, new mission. Yeah, we are not going to focus that we are going to go for it but we're not, we're not oh look at that sending yet another army towards us we cannot get any more troops these guys are gonna have to move back to Mithlond for now the dwarves are not doing anything at the moment yeah uh, these guys are gonna have to move back over there so are you you're gonna have to move over here this is not nice that they have this army here. We need to get to Osgelon and take it and give it to Northern Dunedain or something. We just don't have the military power to fight Angmar and Ered Lewin at the same time. There's just no way for us. Um, a spy would be really nice as well. Uh, but we cannot get any spy anyways. Uh, we could get another diplomat and act that as a spy. Yes, my Let's lord. move down with the diplomat over and spy on this Without army. Wargriders, Angmar infantry. Uh, this is the army we want to attack Mithlond. Can they reach? They can, I think they can reach under towers. The ready. Oh lord, what do we do here? What on lord. earth are we gonna do? We should have moved this guy via land and used Kirdan's army to go for this army and destroyed it, I think. Under Towers is not going to hold, I think. They could move in here if they wanted to, and we're not going to be able to hold it. We should have used the boat. We cannot use the diplomat either. Oh lord, this is problematic. What we could do, we could try and lure them out with this army to attack us here instead. Oh lord, I have no idea what we should do here. Under Towers is probably going to fall. I'm not sure if they can reach me here. It looks like they can, but I'm not entirely sure. Move out with him. You are going in there whenever you can. The ship is moving in. We should have used the ship to transport Kirdan over here instead. Why on earth didn't I do that? Oh lord. Uh, one thing we are going to do though is to attack this army. Go for a night attack. It doesn't matter. They're still going to support. Oh, this is a weak army. Uh, just stand there then. Let them attack us. We do not want to be the ones attacking here. We want them to attack us. They only have melee forces and trash is Snaga. 
We do not want to be the ones attacking. Follow me. They are gonna be the ones attacking, not us. So stand over there, Eldrond. And let's end the turn here. Oh lord. They're probably gonna take under towers and, and there's nothing we can do about it. If they I can reach. Well, well, let's end the turn again. Oh, he's moving into Busratum. That's good, we can move out with the general and get some watchtowers on our borders. Kiridan needs to move out. We need to destroy a lot of armies here and we need to claim Oskilon quickly. Uh, it needs to be taken down quickly here. Uh, we're going to have a lot of issues otherwise. Done landings. Uh, I'm sensing that they're out for blood here. They are going to want to try and take Eregion. And the orcs have a fort there as well. Okay, that was really nice. They moved in for my uh, Lindar Mariners. Good. Fall back. They could reach us. Okay, let's just out resolve then. Conceal our movements. I didn't think they would be able to reach us. Oh, look at this. Quite a deadly army. Uh, halberdiers, skirmishers. Okay. Just out there, solve. 25 kills, accept that. Move back to Haaland. I have no idea what their intentions are. They're just moving into my lands and trying to attack. I didn't expect them to attack my tiny stack there. But um, Under Towers still stands. Moria Under Siege. Oh, okay. Is the Dwarves of Casadum attacking here? No, the, okay, the Goblins are attacking from that side. Sire. Why are they doing that? Like the wind. Well then, we are going to attack from this side. Put them down. Quickly, we need to get something more here. Okay, Mithlond Art Gallery. Is that going to help with... Hopefully we can reach back to 80% with that. We are going to go for the Builder's Guild House here. Or should we go for something else? Imladris, Builder's Guild House, Hall of Culture maybe. Communal farming is cheap, let's go for that. More income. We could go for this, but... Uh, we... Don't want to waste our money on that at the moment. Busradum, here we should absolutely go, go for the cheap grain exchange here. General, you're going to move out if you can. Yes, you can. Good. Move out with him. Get towers all across the borders here. Get a tower there and then move to the other side and get towers there. Can we retrain one of you? We're going to wait with this unit in here until we can retrain. Uh, we could merge you guys up. Get these guys back to Mithlond. Boats, stay here. We do not have any cavalry in this army, and that is a big, big minus. But we need to destroy this army and quickly move for Oskilon. Take it. Uh, they have another army on the way here. Oh, my lord. We need. I think we need to be aggressive here. Kill this army quickly and rush for Oskilon. That is what I think we need to do. Uh, can we get anything? We cannot get anything. Can we afford the militia garrison here? Yes, we can. Go for the militia garrison here. We are going to need it. Okay. We only have these Linda Mariners to defend against this army. That's not going to be enough. I think what we need to do with the uh, High Lord Círdan here is to attack this army. The Dwarves are going to move, they're on their way, they're on their way. We need to claim Casadon West as soon as possible as well and sell it so that we can afford with new troops and more militia garrisons. This army is probably headed I'll towards Forlond. I am pretty damn sure of it. Uh, we need more forces here. We're getting the Teleri Barracks there, we're going to recruit the troops we can get there. Uh, I don't see another way for us than to attack Captain Guaire. A lot of thralls, uh, Angmarim infantry, war riders, hillmen, hillmen. Yeah, this is a pretty weak army. We do not have any cav though, so these guys are probably going to survive if we defeat them. They don't have a general either, so they're probably going to be broken quite easily. 
But we're gonna have to take it down and then move straight for Skillon quickly as hell. Get there as soon as possible. Let's move in with Kirdan and let's take down Captain Guaire. Evil must not okay. The first focus is going to have to be the Vorgs. Of course. We have two archers, we have a javelin, and we have Kirdan himself, who is insanely powerful. Javelin stay in the back. Start the battle. Oh, they have a... Their army is a lot bigger than mine. Uh, that's something that can be said. We, I think we need to go as wide as possible here. Otherwise, they're just going to swamp us. Go as wide as possible, guys. Archers, try and focus down those bloody wargs. And javelins, I don't know what you're going to focus down. The wargs as well, I think. If you can. They have three units of wargs. Archers are going to have to focus them down. And the javelins... They outnumber me quite hard, but we have quality, and they do not have quality in their army, um, so that is good. A lot of hillmen and thralls, and that is something that really doesn't scare me too much. Go, focus down the war riders first, please. One unit of cav here would have been really nice. Let's move these javelin troops to this flank and try and flank, uh, throw the javelins against these guys here. They might charge us, and we're going to take losses. Kirdan, you're going to have to try and form up into a formation here. They are firing. Go, go for guard mode on the troops here. Kill them. Prepare to stop these walks if they want to do something. Just thralls. These are just thralls. Not a problem. Uh, take that away. We want to use your things at the walks ideally. Uh, thralls. I want to try and flank around with him if we can. One of you can fire this walk, walk rider units instead. The thralls are moving in. Yeah, the walks are moving away. We cannot go for offensive action yet, because uh, they might charge me in the back if we go too much forwards. Let's see if you can go closer and throw your things at these guys. Kill down, let's see if you can do a flanking maneuver with you and maybe catch these walk riders here. Let's see, they're trying to throw at the walks down. They're focusing my javelins down. The AI always likes to focus the javelins down first. See if we can catch these the guys. The elves are fast. These guys out. are retreating though. Okay. Yeah, try and flank here then. Flank them. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage to my poor, poor Linda Mariners. My front line is holding. They're doing this uh, circle thingy. Are they going to charge me now? If they are, we're going to counter charge. No, they're moving away. Do not counter charge. Focus this unit down. It's not doing the shooting circle. Are you even throwing at these guys? Come on, throw your things at them. Oh, you're not even. You're not even throwing your things. Pull back then. You're not even getting to throw your things. So, pop the ability. They're not charging us. These walks are going to be so problematic for us. My javelins didn't get to do a single thing in this battle. They've not done anything yet. Go over here then and throw at their melee forces instead. Their walks are focusing down my Linda Mariners at the moment. And it's hurting us a lot. Oh, we're losing a lot of guys here. One unit of cavalry. And these walks, man. They're going to be the bane of this campaign. Uh, all of these walks are so tough to deal with. Because we do not have anything to fight them with. My pikes are doing well against the thralls and Kirdan is doing an amazing job here carving through these units. Throw things at these guys quickly. Keep firing at these wargs please. My melee frontline is holding for now. It's weak in the wargs. Javelins are finally going to throw something at the enemy. I'm glad that we have Kirdan though. He is a flipping monster. These bloody walks, though. So problematic to deal with. Ranged walks units. That's not a fun thing to fight. It feels like we're fighting candy, almost. Go forwards a little bit. We want to try and break these guys away. If we can. Yeah, keep throwing your things. I want to destroy this army quicker. Um, the quicker we destroy them, the better. Blow the horn. 
Are we killing a single warg? It doesn't feel like it. it. Feels like they're really healthy still. So I'm broken that. Wonderful. Uh, you can try and focus down the Angram infantry here. Form up over here and focus them down instead. These guys are probably going to return again, I think. Try and flank the Angram infantry and break them as well. We're losing so much of our infantry here. We do not have any flippin' cavalry on this side. We need to try and get one unit of cavalry on this side because without cav, there's just no way for us to break their enemy forces quick enough. Go in the attack mode here. Kidan is mopping up these thralls here. You are out of ammunition, it looks like. Uh, let's go on the flank with you. One can go over here and flank these guys and break them. Just get rid of them. You're still throwing your javelins. As soon as you're done throwing, we're going to send you into combat with these trolls as well. Yeah, they're back. 64% of the army. Just going for the trolls, archers. We're going to try and flank around. These guys are not yet broken. I'm surprised. Try and go around and flank them and break them all. You are going to go into melee now as well. These guys are finally broken. Let's go for the flanking maneuver now and just destroy every bit of melee forces that they have left. Look at my frontline units. We have lost so much already. Yeah, they're broken. Everyone seems to be breaking here. That's good. Try and sandwich them in here as well. We need to kill as many as possible here. Here comes the walks though. They're gonna charge my poor archers by the looks of it. Yes, they are. They're gonna. That's gonna bloody hurt a lot. Yeah, it did hurt quite a lot there. The entire front line is broken. The wall riders are broken. You are gonna try and catch these walks here. Kill them. Uh, everyone else. Just go back and relax. Do not go forwards. Archers, you can chase as much as you want to. Kill as many of these bastards as possible. Pikes, let's move you up towards this war unit as well. Come on, please say that we can catch these guys. Go for the charge. Oh, it's so close. Oh, there we go, they're broken. Kill as many as you can. Broken. We need to try and break this war unit as well, and then victory is ours. We've killed 84% of their army. Yeah, well done, archers. Keep going with the chase here. Kill okay, done. You're gonna have to do it. Here they come. Are they gonna go for my pikes? If they no, I'm not sure. If they are, just form up. Just try and catch these wargs. Oh, these wargs, man. I know. I just know that they're going to be so problematic to deal with in this campaign. Go for the thralls. Kill as many as you can. Cat yeah, there we go. Continue. We need to kill as much as we possibly can here. Well done. Give chase. Everyone give chase. We're not going to be able to catch everyone here, but we're going to try and chase down as much as possible. that way try and catch these guys here we did win but without cavalry it's gonna be so tough to deal with Angmar and we cannot we should be able to get the Noldor guard hall now though at this time because we've claimed the region trying to catch these bloody hillmen as well I don't think we can get there in time though no we're not gonna be able to sadly you're chasing someone. There's some hillmen here. Okay, let's exit the battle. It was a heroic victory, but I don't think it was. Uh, we healed a bit of our troops here. But, um, look at the losses here. The Linda guards are already weakened. The mariners are already really weakened as well from their bloody wargs. So. But I don't think we have a choice. We need to push for Ostgalon quickly before it's too late. So Kirdan is just going to have to keep on moving. As long as he is alive, we have a big chance of taking Ostgalon. Um, so we're just going to have to keep on trying. That's just how it is. 
That is one Angmarim army defeated. One Angmarim army defeated. Uh, they have a lot more on the way. Enemy camp sacked. We need to keep on moving. We cannot wait. We can reach Oskil on the next turn. They have an army here. Probably not a difficult army to bring down. These guys will not be able to reach us at Mithlond or under towers. I think we can't do this if we're quick enough here. We just need to get here quickly. Yes, uh, and the Lord. diplomat. Uh, if only I could. Anuminas should be over here. Without question. We need to give this one away Impossible. quickly as well. Stop we cannot linger. Here. We cannot I linger. Move for the Northern Dunedain and give it away to them quickly. Oh Lord. We also need to take Castle West as quickly as possible because this garrison here is not enough to hold it if uh, Dunland sends anything over. And I'm sensing that they are on the way too, soon. So we need to claim this one quickly. Okay, that's it for this turn. There's nothing more we can do. These guys are going to have to sit here for the moment. Um... Bruinost is a region that is safe from goblin attacks. I don't think they're going to move in for Bruinost. So that is good. Can we get the Noldor Garn Hall here? Uh, I think, yeah, we can. We can. And that means that we can get some cavalry on this side as well. It's something we should absolutely try and get. It's really good. Uh, we should. We, we can get it here as well, I think. Yeah, Noldor Garn Hall. I'm not sure about here. No, I think we can only get the Teleri Barracks here. Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's end a turn then, I guess. Uh, Diplomat, have you done anything? Lord. Yeah, we can talk As to Lothlorien. I shall continue tomorrow. My You're going to have to keep on moving Without question. towards the Winion, sell information to them. If only I could. Oh, Lord. Let's end the turn. I'm really afraid of ending the turn here. I'm not sure that these goblins here are gonna support if we attack Castle and West. I'm not sure. What's the public order? 60% here now. That is not nice, is it? They're gonna rebel here. There's nothing we can do about it. We could try and get him out of here. We can upgrade this one. We need to try and do that. We could try and change these guys. If you move into Bruinos, as I said, and you move down to Alnana Road, maybe you can keep the peace there. Hopefully you can, I'm not sure though. We're gonna have to try. They're gonna rebel here otherwise. Okay, let's end the time. Let's end it. There's nothing more we can do. Oskilon needs to be taken quickly. Oh lord. Has Angmar taken another territory? No, no, I don't think so. I think it is Oskelon only. I'm hoping that it is Oskelon only. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Let's take a look and see. Uh, not sure what you're trying to do. Yeah, they're rebelling at Anon and Rod. There's nothing we can do about that either. Someone is besieging Fenas Druinin. Remnants of Agmar. What are you planning? What are you planning against me? Okay. Western Moria besieged. Yeah. Fenas Druin and assaulted. Who is assaulting that? Civil disorder. Please say that you can keep the peace here. Oh, no, you cannot do that. We're gonna lose Bruinost here. There's nothing we can do. Arnon Rod is safe though for now. Oh, God. Is there anything we can do? Cow, get them in there. 70%, that is enough. Thank you. We're not going to lose Bruinos then. Take that away. For now. Oh god, we do not need to repair this one because this one is going to be done. But these buildings I really want to repair. Let's do that. We're out of money. Let's see, what happens if we attack here now? Okay, I think we have to move in. We cannot wait. We have to move in now and take them down. Uh, we need the money. We have to get yes, the money here. Let's move over here. Let's prepare. Castle and Fort. Good. We prepare to talk to them. We need the money now. Otherwise, we're going to have big issues. Um, queue stalled. Construction report. Region Artist Studio. That's good. We need that. Holland Master Builders Hall. That's good. We're going for the militia garrison here. These armies are moving 
towards under towers. And we cannot reach Oskelon. We could. In the previous turn, it looked like we could. Are they gonna be able to grab this one? I am but an ally. They might be. Come, in the brother. previous turn, it looked like we could reach Oskelon in one turn, but now it says two turns until we can reach it. Oh my god. We need to get there. Just go for it. Take it for the elves. If they claim under towers, we're gonna have to move back and take it back. Uh, hopefully, they're gonna withdraw here because they're gonna feel threatened on the fact that we are going for Skelon here. Diplomats, please move for Anuminas. We have it over there. Good. Yes. How is it looking in terms of the dwarves? Doesn't look like they're moving for us just yet. They could be moving over here though. Oh lord, they're probably gonna take under towers and there's nothing we can do about it. We could give it away to Northern yes, Dunedin, but we're not even in range for it. Well, we're just gonna have to take Oskelon and move back and take us under towers, but hopefully they're gonna feel threatened and move back to Oskelon here. That is what I'm hoping for. One thing we have to do now though, is to take Kassadin West. We cannot wait, we cannot linger. We need to make sure that we have a garrison at the region so that they are not attacking us here. We need to have public order intact. Yeah, there's a lot of things we need to do. Castle and West, though, needs to fall straight away. I'm not entirely sure how this battle map looks. Everything is trash here. The Orc defenders are pretty solid, though. But I think my guys should be able to do it. We have to move in. We cannot wait. Let's move in and take Castle and West. Send them back to their all right, all right. Start deployment. Oh god, this is a insanely important battle and this is a clunky, bloody, painful battle map to fight on when you're the aggressor. And one thing more, we're gonna have to move in quickly because we have a timer here. Uh, the timer cannot run out and we're probably gonna have to kill every unit inside here. Uh, just drop that. Uh, my melee force are just gonna have to go in quickly. Uh, it doesn't matter if we take losses here. We have to take it and get rid of the goblets from this side. That's just how it is. We have a few archers that we're gonna use. Uh, we have some cavalry as well. Let's move all the archers up here. Cavalry archers can be quite useful. Well then, let's start the battle and let's move in. Straight away. Get them up here. Okay, where are they moved? Oh, look at this battle map. Oh, is everything standing on the square as well? It looks like it is. Yeah, this battle map is really problematic for us. But we're gonna have to do it. We cannot fail here. This is one of the most important battles in the campaign. And we also have to send somewhat of a garrison to Eregion before Dunland attacks us. Hopefully we'll, we're going to be able to reach Ostgelon in time. Well. Okay, fallen. good. No time to waste. Let's move in with the infantry quickly. Get them inside and archers, you are going to follow behind them. We've the enemy's this force. would be a nice area to fight. I don't like to fight here because then we're not going to be able to use our archers as effectively. I want to fight in an area where my archers can do a difference here. Goblin infantry, goblin band, just trash units. Nothing to be scared of. Okay, archers. Uh, let's slow down the speed. Let's move you up over here. You can run into position and fire at them if you want to. Melee forces. Go to the other side, but don't go any further than that. Uh, we're gonna wait with the cab for now. Let's move in quickly. There we go, fighting has started. Focus on the ones in the back. Goblin band in the back is a target you could go for if you're fighting. You can flank if you want to. Let's just sandwich them in between here. Oh, bloody hell, this map is weird. Just surround them, swamp them, and destroy them quickly. 
I'm not sure that we should use our archers here. I think melee infantry is going to be enough. Let's keep the ammunition we have and move forward slowly with the archers. My infantry outclasses theirs quite hard. Let's pop the ability. Okay, uh, first line of defense. We're fighting it. Where's the general? Is he over here? No. Yeah. He's standing over there. If he doesn't want to do anything in this fight, well then... Uh, I'm happy. W what are these guys doing? Oh, they're moving to the wall here. Yeah? I have no idea. It seems that the Kassatum battle maps always are a bit weird to fight on. The AI does some weird stuff. And I will always remember when I played a fight here, when I played as the goblins and my catapult glitched out totally. That is something that I will never forget. My guys are moving in. Push forwards a bit. Uh, we do not want to linger here. Remember the timer. Keep pushing. There we go. Utterly surround them and annihilate them. These guys are moving back. Well then, archers, if they're moving back, we can give them a volley while they're moving. They're wavering. Let's see if we can... Uh, we're not doing the best shots on them here, so do not fire yet. Save your ammunition. These guys should probably break in a second or two. They're broken. Good. Do not linger. Kill as many as you can and then push further. Push for the square. There we go. There we go. Well done. Go forwards. Go towards the square. Start moving. You do not need to run. You can walk. Archers are going to follow slowly. Sending a goblin band unit now. Okay. Send these guys to the left flank. You guys are going to fight these guys here. Archers. Uh, what is going on here? They're sending our forces over there. Okay. My best archers are going to form up over there and we fire at their troops. Like These guys are going to follow the sword masters. Take this long journey up on this hill here. Sending in some orc defenders against my spears. Take this path here. This long, bloody hill way. Quite a steep one. Get into position, archers. And they're sending in yet another orc fighter unit. Come on, archers, you need to get here quickly. You're in position. Fight the orc fighters in the back. These archers are going to take this path as well. Move up there. I think we're getting a few kills. Maybe we should just send these guys up this way as well, honestly. I think we should. Let's do that. My melee infantry are going to be able to win here quite easily. Keep marching. Oh, they have a big, bloody... Uh, quite a lot of units here that is guarding. I'm sending my best infantry up here. My archers are going to try and follow and support in the fight off the square. It's going to be a tough fight here. They have a lot of troops here. Are we getting there? These guys are almost there. They are winded, though. Get them over there, and these guys are going to follow. Uh, we really don't have time to care if we lose some troops here. We need to take this. Uh, start fighting them. Archers form up behind. Let's try and use you. Form up and fire at the Orc Defenders there if you want to. You are going to move up here as well. One can go on this side. How is it looking here? We're destroying them. Good. I hope that my Sword Masters are going to be able to win here. They are far better than these bloody Orc Defenders, but we have a lot of things that we need to carve through. 
wonder if we can move in a little bit better with archers so that we can actually hit the targets with more archers for the goblin bodyguards. Would like to have Elrond to fire as well. Pop the ability. Maybe we should just use the ammunition with these guys and then switch to the better archers after they're done with their bows. I think so. Well, just fast forward. Now they're trying to push hard on me here. These sword monsters are holding for now. They're not meant to hold the line like this, though. Some javelins would be nice here. Uh, my archers are no longer firing at them. Even if you do the arcing shot, um, it's not mattering. Uh, you're not firing at all, are you? You can fire now, but you cannot. Okay, it looks like it's only this unit that can fire then. Oh lord. Should we send in the generals in melee then? To... They, these guys are really good in melee. Maybe we should. They're gonna regenerate. I think we should. I think that's the best idea. Because they won't be able to fire here anyways. Get the artists out. Get the solid Dunedain bodyguards and Eldrond into melee. Because they're pushing through him. Yep, send them into melee. Focus the Goblin Bodyguard down. All of these guys are really solid in melee. And they're almost piercing uh, these Dunedain Bodyguards with their axes. So we should be able to make swift work out of this Goblin Bodyguard unit. I'm thinking. These guys are broken. Good. Let's move up with the Linda Guards here. They can join the fighting. Take a look at these Dunedain bodyguards here with the big axes. And here we have the upgraded ones. They look mighty, mighty fine if I do say so myself. They look really, really cool. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Where is Elrond? He's over there. He's in a do decent position. Yeah, this should be a victorious. But uh, we do not want to lose a general. That is something that we cannot do. You guys are done for this fight. So are you. Just sending the Lindar... Lindar guards. I'm not expecting their general to survive for too long either, because they're fighting some of my most elite troops that I have currently. Gilgalad's company should be able to cleanse the way forwards quite easily. With the support of the Dundine bodyguards. Look at these mighty elven lords. They look pretty damn cool. You guys can move out. I want to try and retrain you later, if the time comes to it. Try and withdraw from that position. I'm gonna send in the Linda guards instead. To help. Where are those twins? I think they're quite safe as well, hopefully. It's impossible to find them in here. I think they're quite safe. The hopefully they are. Elrond is still in a decent position. There we go, let's fast forward here. Let's cleanse the rest of their forces. There we go. The general is dead. We're fighting, they're shaken now, all of them. As long as we do not lose a general here, I'm happy. We need the money uh, from Casa Dum, uh, from this settlement. We really, really desperately need it. Go for the Snagus Garmin, just kill the rest of their forces. Kill them all. Push forwards more if you can. Just quicken it up and annihilate these bloody Snagus Garmin for me, please. There we go. Okay, important victory here. The thing is that the Goblins of Moria is going to get a Doomstack with this victory here on Cassadin West. And they're probably going to try and strike me at Sagkalla or Imladris. One of those regions. I'm, we lost 331 of our forces. I'm going to take that. Um, it's not ideal, but we needed to take this region with speed. 
We couldn't wait, and I'm happy that we took it. Uh, Elrond got the most kills, 469 kills there. Dunedain Warden, 392 kills. Well, well done. Job well done indeed. Western Moria has been taken. We're going to sell it straight away to the Casadum Dwarfs and hopefully get a large sum of money for it because we need as much money as possible at this moment. Uh, we need it. 100k, 50k, I don't know how much they're willing to pay. We just have to sell it. That's just how it is. Really, really crucial victory here. Insanely important. Let's sack it for the money and um, destroy this one. Uh, everything that the dwarves can use, we're gonna keep. Um, that's it. Everything they can use. Yeah, let's just let's prepare to talk to them. Let's move out with the army first, though, because we don't want this army to get stuck in between here. Let's move out. Okay, good. Bruinos, we should get the... Oh, of course, we did get the Rebellion. That's why we cannot upgrade it anymore. We're gonna do that in the next turn. Diplomat, yes, let's talk to Casadum. Alliance, trade rights, military access. And we are going to give you Casadum the rich. They're gonna pay a lot for it. Casadum West. We need every bit of money that we can get. Uh, we're running dry at the moment, so we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to try. Let's... Um... What is that? Let's take a look. Demanding. Oh. Did I too. Did I take one million there? Let's go with. Um, how much do we want to take? Uh, let's try 50k. See if they want to go for that. Balanced. Try a little bit more. We need the money. Let's try 70k. See if they want to accept that. No. Okay, let's see if they want to accept that. It's demanding. Let's try nonetheless. We're going to try. Okay, they're almost gonna do it. Do the same thing. Military access, alliance, trade rights, and how about 60k? I think they're gonna accept 50k. Try 60. Very demanding. Okay, how about if we then... Oh, it's bad. Oh, we didn't give. We need to give the region as well, of course. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, 60k. Let's see, it's balanced. Alliance, military access, trade rights, map information, give Castle and West. We're getting military access in return and 60k. Let's please accept it. Oh, really close. What's your next suggestion? How about um, 50k then? We want military access from them as well. Okay. Castle West, 50k. Last offer. We're, we're gonna accept uh, 40k as well. We just need the money desperately now. 50k. They're rich. It's balanced. Military access map if alliance. Okay, come on, please. Yes, they accept it. Glorious. I accept this Bloody glorious. We needed that. 51,000 in the bank. They did get a solid garrison. A lot of merchant cavalry. Good. We needed that. Really much. Uh, we have 51,000 in the bank. Let's invest it in things, buildings and more troops. Get the... Do no, we're gonna keep the ones here. We're gonna want to train these guys later. Eregion have gotten the artist studio. There's nothing more we can get here. Uh, Elrond, along with one twin, should move up north. And a fair chunk of the force should move up there as well. Um, take the Dunedain Wardens, both of these units take some Cav as well. Take these guys up there. You're gonna move up towards Imladris. And sadly, one twin is gonna have to be here. We have to have one here for some turns. Um, Bruinos is barely holding out with that extra cavalry unit inside. We need a solid defense here. One spear, two archers, one cavalry, and Lord Elrohir. 
is gonna move down there for, for the time being. We want to bring him out later, but for now he's gonna have to be there. We I really want a solid defensive army here. We need it hard. And there is not, not another governor we could send, because this guy is keeping the peace here. If we move him out, they're gonna rebel, and Bruinost is on the brink of rebelling as well. And I don't think he can leave it yet. 50%. We could try and get Gildor to a region later. If we get a unit or two here, they might be able to keep the peace. But for now, this is how we're gonna have to do. He's not gonna sit here for the entire campaign, just for a few turns. Um, you're moving back to retrain at Mladris. Okay, is there anything we can recruit? It's only these Dunedain Wardens here. Is there anything on this side that we can recruit? Mithlond? Absolutely nothing. We need to get the Noldor Guard Hall here as soon as possible. Over here at uh, Haaland. Teleri Barracks, I think we should go for straight away. Bustratum is going for that. We should also get the Noldor Guard Hall here as well. We need to get troops everywhere. Uh, before we focus more on uh, economical development here, we should get the Noldor Guard Hall here. We need all of the troops we can get here on the western side. Um, so let's queue that one up as well. Let's get that tower. Let's move over. I think we have uh, military access with Bree, so we can just m wander into their lands and go this path here. These guys are going to return to Mithlond uh, when he is back there. Other towers might fall if they attack me, because we have not yet reached Oskelon. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's much more we can do about ending the turn. Um, scary times we're living in. It is. What's the population here? 545. Keep it at low. We need to get this one to the next tier as quickly as possible. And hopefully Elrohir is going to make the growth go even faster. Because he's a pretty damn solid governor. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's end the turn. <laughs> This is so tough. I think we might just lose under towers now. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing. Rem remains to be seen though. These guys might want to try and go back to Oskelon to try and go there. And it's hard. I'm scared of doing this, but we have to. If they don't go for under towers, we should be able to hold it. And keep it. I don't want to give Under Towers away. I want to keep that region. Um, if they attack it, we're going to try and reclaim it with Kirdan quickly. Uh, just remove Angmar from the equation for now. We cannot fight them. We don't have the armies for it. Dun Lendings, what on earth are you want? What do you, do you want from me? Oh, the goblins are moving in, but they're not bordering me there, so they shouldn't attack us there, I don't think. I think we're quite safe there for the time being, from the goblins at least. But Dunland, on the other hand, they did not attack under towers. Western Moria cleared, Oskillet under attack, the Wrath of Kand. Okay, there we have it. Doomstack of Moria. They could attack Sagkalla because we're bordering the goblins there and they could attack Imladris. One of those two regions they are going to attack. Um, Lord Elro here, just take this path here, give me a tower on the border, move into a region as quickly as you can. I don't think, no, I don't think they're gonna go for Arnon Rod either. Go for the upgrade there, town upgrade. You need to move back to Imladris, retrain your troops. Quickly. We need to be prepared when they attack us. Let's take a look. Forlond to Larry Barracks here. Get the troops that we can get here. We need everything. Everything is needed. Let's go for the Builders Guild House while we have the money for it um, as well. Sakala communal farming. I think we should go for this one as well while we have the money for it. Pustratum, Green Exchange. We're going for the Noldor Guard Hall there. Arnon and Rods, we're going for the Master Builders Hall there. And let's take a look, nothing more. This is a scary army. They have some trolls in that one as well, that's scary. 
and um, remains to be seen where they will strike. We need to be sure that Elrond and his son here is in the settlement where this army attacks. They're probably gonna go for Sankal, I have a sense that they will go for that region. If they don't, we need to quickly move towards Imladris with Elrond. We need to go there first and because we want to retrain as much as we can. Oh boy. Yes, my lord. Let's talk to Lothlorien. Yes. What is it you wish to discuss? Go for trade rights first. This there we go. Alliance, they want that. I no, reject it. Well. Map information. And 1,600 gold coins. How about that? They're well off. They should be able to pay this. They are. Good. It's good. Well, Accepted. Good. Wonderful. We're getting a another boat. We're going to keep that boat for now. We might yes, need it. Uh, we're going to keep it. Let's move further here. Let's move towards Dol Guldur and those kinds of factions. Tomorrow. They're standing outside here. They did not attack. They're not attacking here either. Bloody brilliant, if I do say so myself. Because then we can take Oskelon from them, give it to the Northern Dunedain, and then we're no longer going to border bloody Angmar. That is really good. I'm so happy that it didn't attack us. Uh, we're going to keep Under Towers and Mithlond. Take this journey around. Move in over here and get Watchtowers. Uh, Inadwaith has taken this region. That is not a good sign. That's not good at all. We need to get the militia garrison here. They're probably going to strike me here soon. Inadwaith needs to fight Dunland. Okay, they are at war with each other. Really good. See if... I don't know if we want to get an alliance with either of these factions just yet. Ideally, we want them to focus each other. We have nice growth here. 4.5 each turn. Follow me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Kirdan, you're going to have to move oh, in against Osgelon here. Take it for the elves. More hold the hillmen along with some iron crown halberdiers. I'm so happy that we managed to get here without them attacking us. Let's claim Oskelon and let's give it away to the Northern Dune and I straight away. Wipe the blight from this okay, let's just do this, shall we? Um, kind of want to try and weaken their halberdiers before we send in Kirdan. Uh, the halberdiers are almost piercing. Start the battle. Um, Rudar, uh, these guys are also armor piercing, so let's see if we can harass them down with the archers a little bit. Maybe get the archers to stand over here somewhere. If we can. Bloody hell. Oh, God. Get the javelins to join as well. Kirdan, you can move over there. Linda, guards, you can move honestly as well. Take this path here. Oh. Things might work itself out. The Dwarves of Ered Luwin have not yet shown any signs of aggression. They're not moving into my lands just yet. They are going to do so quite soon though, I'm expecting. Just form up over there, go in guard mode. Javelins are preparing. Uh, Mithlon nobles. Go forwards. Block there. Archers, feel free to run. You can run as well. Why not? Okay, let's see if you can fire from this position. You should be able to. Get some so solid shots off. These maps are weird. We're probably going to start moving while we fire on them as well. You're going to prepare. Let's focus down the halberdiers first. Okay, they're not doing anything. Okay, they're now. Okay, they're moving. Kirdan, I don't want to send you in first. Let's move the unit like this so that the general is on this side. Javelins, you're going to support as well. Yeah, keep up the fire, lads. You're doing well. As long as they're not doing anything. We're, okay, they're moving in for my pikes. That's okay. We can just hold them here, I think. Hold them here, pikes. Uh, they're going off the margin. If you want to... Okay, now you can flank these guys in the back and destroy them. Our men are in Javelins, of the move city. in. Throw your things at the... If you kite We've back a little bit here. Kite back to this position. Keep up the fire there. 
Javelins, you're gonna stand over there and fire at them when they are on this side here. These Rudar house calls, house calls shouldn't survive for too long. Not against the Mithla nobles and the pikes. Yeah, 49 remaining. Are they moving back? It looks like they're moving back. Javelins, prepare yourself. Throw your things at them quickly. Keep up the fire archers. Yeah, there we go. That's about ha as close as you're going to be able to get here. Oh, they popped an ability. Their general. There we go. This should hurt them a lot. Yeah, it is. Kirdan is doing well. My archers are harassing these halberdiers. Good. Keep throwing. The general should die in any second, I think. He's utterly surrounded by some of our most elite troops. One more volley and these guys are going to withdraw. There we go. Get out of that. Archers, keep up the fire. The general is over there. Let the pikes deal with him. Uh, Mithlon nobles going for the halberdiers. Oh, he's dead. That's good. Him, his will lose their well, actually, you can support in the back. Go for a flanking maneuver against the the halberdiers for me. Stand over there and just charge them in the back. Where's Kirdan? He's over there. And he's not bloodied up at all. Good. He's not gonna die. You can stop firing. Go for the charge. Our men have taken control. We've lost control of the city. This should be the end of this unit. We might even break them here if they're outside of the square. They might not break though. But they are outside of the square, so they should break. There we go. End the battle. Lost 25 guys. Ostgelon has been claimed. And we're going to sell it as well straight away to the northern Dunedain because we cannot fight Angmar and Edith Lewin at the same time. So, this was a great victory. A really important victory. Really, really important. Well done, High Lord Kirdan. Good job. We, must we are no desires. longer going to border bloody Angmar. Uh, just occupy it. Um, what's the call to here? 70% Dunedain. Hopefully they're going to get a tiny garrison from this. I really hope so. Let's move the units out. Yes, my lord. And let's give it away yes, to the northern Dunedain. Always happy to deal with you, trust give region, friends. they're reasonable. We're not going to ask too much money from them. A little bit we're going to ask for, but not too much. Um, we want them to be able to do something in these fights in the north. Uh, let's try 10k. Generous. We're not going to ask for more than that. Make offer. I accept accepted. Wonderful deal. Good. Honor we're doing well in pleasure. terms of money. Farewell. Um... Elves. And they've got an Oskilon. They don't have a garrison. Hopefully they're, they're going to garrison it up Come soon. On, Get Kirdan back to Mithlond. Like we need him back there. We need a spy as well. A spy on this area. But the most important thing is that we're not bordering Angmar. Uh, Get the public fountains here. We can invest in that now. Because Under Towers is safe for now. Uh, it is. We're just bordering Bree here. So we're, we're safe there. We are. Ships ready. Ships ready. Okay, okay. Edit Lewin, they have an army here. Right, might be day. sent down to Forland. It's a high possibility that they might go there. Okay, we did it. We didn't lose Under Towers. They haven't attacked Mithlond. We actually did it. Um... Get him back, get a solid army started at Mithlond, try and send it over to Thorin's Halls. That is the plan with Kirdan here. How is it looking in terms of culture? 80%, we're back at 80% again with the construction of the art gallery. Really, really nice. Uh, the sad thing is though, it's going to take 33 turns until we can get the Mithlond nobles again. Uh, maybe we should have recruited them while we had the chance in the early game. But we can at least get them now. Um, that is good. Get your ass back there. We need you there. 
Oh, we need a spy somewhere as well in this area. Maybe we should actually invest in the vineyard somewhere so that we can get another spy. Maybe over at Harland when this one is done. I think we have to. We need a spy here. More. We need three spies. We need a lot of spies. At the moment, this diplomat is the spy that we yes, have here. And he's not the best Without spy in the world. I shall continue tomorrow. Okay. Bloody hell, this is intense. This campaign is intense. And we have this army that we need to take down as well. And we have no idea where they will strike. If it's at Sakala or if it's at Imladris, we do not yet know. Remains to be seen. Region, I really don't want to lose. Uh, so we, we are sending quite the garrison over there. Some archers, a spear and Lord Elro here along with some scouts. We have some horses in there that I really would like to send back for a training later. We have the militia garrison here. So we should be able to get two units in garrison if someone attacks here. Send a turn. Oh, this campaign is really intense. It's really intense and I love it. I love it. I almost made a... I, I did make... A mistake there uh, with the boat in the beginning of the, this episode but luckily for me it turned out great anyways uh, these types of campaigns is the campaigns where one mistake can change everything the thing we have to do in this one is to minimize all of the mistakes made um, in order to have a chance of victory it's just how it is and I know that some of you people might be mad at me for sending in one of the twins in a region, but just how it's going to have to be. We need a solid defense there. The ranger flourish. Yeah, we gave them a settlement. Oh, where are you headed? Okay, they're moving this way. I, uh, the best thing would be if they took this way back to this side. That would have been the best thing. Oh, where are you headed? No idea. Dolguldur is attacking. Karas Galadon. Okay, Imladris communal farming. Mines would be nice. What's the culture? 75 we're still dropping. We should probably get the art gallery later. But for now it doesn't really matter. Leather worker. We should probably go for some military things. Let's take it. What do we need to upgrade? Hall of culture. Valiant council hall. Um, hall of culture. Let's go for the hall of culture here. We need to get better troops. Okay, yeah, we have an army here. War pack. Uh, go back to Region. Just there we go. We have a decent garrison here that should be able to hold for quite some time. Try and get. Oh, we cannot get a tower there. Well, then move back then. We're gonna get a tower in the next. Yeah, look at that population growth. It was at 4.5 percent. Now it's at 6 percent with him inside. So I hope that you can understand the choice of having him inside here. Eregion is going to be upgraded a lot quicker with him, insi him inside. That's just how it is. Sire. Elrond, move back quickly. And destroy this army on the way home if it needs to be destroyed. Okay, Anon and Orod, Master Builders Hall. I think the roads here would be beneficial. Yes, it would. Let's go for the roads here. Let's keep on going for economical development with the money that we have. We need to. Oh, this army, where is it going, going to go? I really hope it's going to go this way. That would, would be the best thing. In Advaith are not sending any armies into my lands. The dwarves of Eredluin are beginning to send something over here. We are getting a few troops here though, so I'm feeling quite safe. Take that off for now. We're going for the builder's guild. We're, go we're going to go for the militia garrison when this one is done. I think the governor, along with some archers and some Linda guards, is going to be enough to hold this place. Only uh, they only have three units in here. Loot. So I'm feeling confident that we should be able to hold. By the light of Let's Whoa. take a look. As uh, Northern Duna 9, you need to send something Come over there quickly. Me, should we help guarding By them the a bit? With this army. These armies might just go back and take it back if we don't stand Come here. Maybe we should stand there for a turn and have a bridge battle with them. Otherwise, Oskelon is probably going to fall in the hands of Angmar again. 
And we do not want that to happen. So I think we're going to stand here for a turn and hope that they attack me. Diplomats, yes, my lord. could you like move here? Can we spy with you? No, we cannot see it. This army was quite scary though, I remember. They had some halberdiers in this one and some uh, other things. You are going to move over there and get a tower. There we go, good. Move back to Busradu. Uh, govern it. Make sure that we earn as much money from it as possible. We're going for the Noldor God on here. That is nice. We need to get the roads as well. It's going to provide a lot of extra gold. Do we have trade rights with Inn and Wythe? No. Not yet. We need to get that as well. Maybe this diplomat is actually going to move down and get that My with Lord. them. Send him over there. Stopping here. Get trade rights with Inn and Wythe before they attack us. Which they're probably going to do. You are going to talk to Dogledur and sell map information. Map info and 1,600 gold coins. How about that? Make offer. Are oh, they bankrupt? Okay, well then. Try 1,000. No, okay, well, ignore them. Go further. Go this way. Without Go down towards Gondor and do uh, those kinds of factions. Tomorrow, if only I... My Lord. You're going to try yes, and find Darwinian Rune do to sell map down. information. Okay, okay. Let's end the turn one last time and let's see how things are going to look when we end it. They're sending just a tiny army though. We need to go for Thorin's Halls. It's going to be a really nice settlement for us. Send it up. Oh, okay. Let's see what Angman does here. I had him to outer walk. That's a mistake once again. Let's see what Angmar does here. Once again, that was a mistake from my, my part. I should have stayed there. Why didn't I click that? Oh my lord. There's just too many things going on here. But then again, we want him to return home as well. <laughs> we need him back home. Yeah, I thought the bloody goblins were attacking me for a second there, but it's just Dunland. Okay, the Doomstack of Goblin are moving back towards my areas again. Let's see what Angmar does to me. Are they moving in for Skelon? I think they might be. Let's take a look. What's going to happen? Gandalf sets out. That is good for the Northern Duna. Military unit. Exactly what we wanted. Of course, another military unit. I'm not going to say no to that. Some more boats. Bloody hell. Militia garrison at Mithlond. Thank you for that. We needed it. Eight, yeah, we're finally growing. Let's go for the Builder's Guild house here. Yeah. They did reclaim it. Oh, well, we're going to have to move back then. We have to move back. That mistake cost us a lot of time. Yeah, we have to move back and do it again. We have to do it again. Onward. Let's move back. Let's take it back. Yes, my lord. Uh, yes. We have to. And we're going to try and maybe try and somehow keep it safe for a few turns or something. The dwarves are closing in, but we have a garrison here now, so I'm feeling confident. We need to take it back. Come and get me. And we... <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. Why didn't I click away the outer walking thingy? That was a mistake. I'm gonna hear that in the comment section. I know it. I know it already. I'm gonna hear that in the comment section. Forlond. Queue up the Linden Long Space. We're going for the Master Builder's Guild House there. And Tillery Barracks there. And over there we're going for the Builder's Guild House as well. Good. Go back oh, to Busratum. You're going to wait until they have arrived there and then move out with you. See if we can get some watchtowers with him. Go back. 6%. This is growing really fast. Bruinost, we're upgrading it. You are going to move in to Imladris. What do they have in this army? A bunch of Snaga and Mountain Orc Hunters. 
We are going to take this army out in the next episode and move these guys back to Mladris, retrain them all, create another force here, queue up the manual rangers as well, and then try and destroy this bloody doom stack if we can. We are also going to take back Ostgelon for the second time. Um, yes, my lord. Be gone. They have some armies, but we have to do it. We have to take it back one more time. We're just going to give it to the Northern Doon and Dine uh, without yes, them paying for it. Or maybe Bree, if they could keep it uh, better than the Northern Doon and Dine. Middlemen 17%, Doon and Dine 19%. We just we cannot allow them to have this. Kirdan's army is not that strong, though. Uh, it's a problematic campaign. We should have just waited on the bloody... Um... um Oh, God. Um, the bloody river. We should have just waited on the river here for one turn. And they would probably have attacked me and then we could have just wiped them out in a fight instead. But we didn't do that. And I forgot to not auto walk with him. And we're going to pay for it by losing a few turns here. Oh, Lord. Uh, we are not losing any settlements, though. Uh, we're still intact. Our empire is still intact for now. We have claimed Region. Which is huge for us. We need that. Oh lord. Well, I know that I'm gonna hear it in the comment section about the few mistakes that I've made in this episode. <laughs> I just I just know it. Uh, well, have a beautiful day guys. Goodbye to you all.